thought I had to kind of shut the, my camera shut off while it was in my pocket, and I went and used a tree stump to get on. So, yep, now I am. So right now we're just kind of walking, and he's just kind of super sweet in their own pen. So today we're just kind of kind of work on just he just needs exercise. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Uh, get back out there to that side. Like I said, I just got my hands in my pockets. And we're just kind of going around. Teacher's playing football. We're just kind of chilling. So, like I said, I was going to show you guys how easy he turns. So I'm just going to pick up this rein. And he's turning. Now we're just going to pick up this rein. See, I'm not even putting any pressure on. It's just, all I'm doing is picking up that rein, and he feels a little pressure. Sometimes you have to give, oops, give, oh, sometimes you have to kind of wiggle your fingers. Here, all you, you can see what I'm talking about. I don't even know if you can see me wiggling. But just doing this, and he's, here, I'm trying to get it so you can see everything. So, we're just going to wiggle. I'm just using two fingers. I'm pulling and we're going to turn through the middle. Okay, but yeah, like I said, he does. Keep going. He's got his ears back. And Pearl's talking to us. He got his ears always go back and forth. <laughs> but yeah, his ears are always. Hey, yeah, you hear me talking back here? He got one ear back to me and. His ears always kind of just rotate back and forth between us, between me and whatever else he's interested in. Sometimes they're both back, just listening. So we're going to trot. Like I said, he's awesome in their own pen, so I don't even have to pick up the reins. And that's awesome because I get to work on my seat. So... He goes a little further in the middle. So, yeah, we're just trotting. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. Because he knows. Now we're going to try to get him. Nope. I want. Back up. We're going to get him to stop without using hands at all. So, oh. I'm going to lean back. Oh. Oh. Good boy. So just working on your seat, because your seat's a huge communicator to your horse. Because that's the first thing you move. If you look in one direction, you're... Whoa, that was loud. If you move in one direction, your whole entire... Like, if you move your head, your weight's going to shift, and they're going to be able to feel that in your seat. So that's something that's really, keep going, important to have. So we're going to do that again. Got your ears back listening. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Chuck. Whoa. Okay, we'll do some posting. Now, whoa. We'll use our neck rope. He responds to that pretty well, too. So, like I said, here, that's him riding in a bridle. All you have to do is squeeze. And he's doing lovely little turns. Or sometimes even all you have to do is pick up the rope. And he is awesome. Okay, so now we're going to go. And he's also neck reined. So neck rein is, if your horse is truly, truly neck reined, you will be able to ride with a neck rope. If your horse is actually neck reined. Because all neck reining, neck reining has nothing to do with the bit. Huh? That's neck yeah. That's why I can ride with a neck rein. Whoa. So we got our halter and stuff here. So I'm going to put just a plain old halter on him. And then we're going to ride. So we're going to do that from his back though. So um, I'm going to stick you guys in my pocket for a minute. Actually, no, I'm just going to switch videos. So this will be part dose.